everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna set up next week. That's September 20th through the 26th. So I'm just gonna write the date right here up at the top. Four, five, six. I will use my fountain pen, yes, to write out. Have it. I'm going to move this to the back for a minute and write out tracker. It's kind of smaller than usual, but whatever. I will also put here this is personal, uh, this is home, victories, and defeats. Now, I'm not gonna write all the stuff in because I don't know. I don't want you to all watch that. So just kind of do that. I usually try to decorate and put some stuff right here. I will see if I got some pretty little flowers. something cute. So for the morning page, morning pages are my, right when I get up, I do gratitude and then I come to my morning page. And my morning page is just a small little snippet of how I'm feeling, good, bad, ugly. It allows me to journal and get out whatever it is I'm feeling um in that exact moment so they look like so so all i do um because i'm in the week that i'm in and i know the dates that i'm in i used to write the dates for every single day but now I'm just writing out the header of the actual day of the week. Um, because, yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll write it. I don't know, but it's just writing Monday through Sunday. And then I use the last thing here to just kind of decorate some. I should have grabbed my dolls, but got these left from Red Lyrics that I've been hoarding. I like her. She does have like the little curvy gals. Um, so I like that. And then what I will do, which I didn't grab, are all these books that I got from a friend. And then I will find like a little faith-based one that can kind of fit um, let's see, like kind of like right here, but I don't know if there's any good choice ever more. Put it at the top like that. Um, and just for funsies, I'll just put some little decorative element right there. I don't normally do that, but why not? I'll save this other piece for something else. So that is my morning page. I do get these from, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess her name up. Every single month she posts, I'm gonna get it in my Never Paper Land. She hasn't posted October yet, but she probably will this week normally. But what I do is I just, for my devotion notes, I kind of just glue in 
the date at the top. Now I used to write them and I used to use these for journaling, but I don't anymore. So I believe the 20th is next week. So I'll take off the Devo. Let's get some, I mean, we are transitioning into fall. So I've got a whole bunch of like stuff here. I'll kind of grab like fall-ish ones for this week. Um, put them back. Let's go with a, what did we do this past week? Let's go and look. So I already did this one and then put that one back. Let's do this one. I kind of lost my place. <laughs> okay, here we are. So I'm just going to decorate the page with this little washi like so in the middle. So my devotion notes give me a chance to position my heart and get out of my own voice and head in the morning. So, you know, we wake up in the morning and we could be in our own mood for a plethora of reasons. But I allow myself to write as if the Lord is speaking directly to me. So I will read a devotion, um, Jesus Calling, Version app devotions, In Touch Ministry. Sometimes, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be like all pompous or anything like that, but if you follow the Lord, you know his voice. You know his voice. And his voice is always opposite of your flesh. Meaning, you know, if if you know you need to forgive somebody, God's never going to say, ah, don't forgive them. That's your flesh. You know that you know that God would say, forgive that person. Be kind. Love that person. So sometimes on my devotion note page, I will write as if what I know that Lord is trying to say. So perfect example. This morning, I was drinking my coffee. I was having the time of my life. And I started watching my daughter move about because my neighbor was up at like 8.30 in the morning. And I don't know, it's a Saturday. So I'm like, dude, don't you want to sleep in? Mind you, this is the same neighbor that if my son is doing any kind of basketball um, stuff in the night. Oh, can you be quiet? Because he sleeps in. He has to go to work early in the morning. So he's pounding away, pounding away. And I'm like, what in God? What, what is happening right now? Right? So I was like, I'm going to go out there and tell him to shut the heck up. Right? So on my devotion note page, I wrote, be nice to people, Monique. You never know the battle they are fighting. They all need me, so as you do, pray for them to have kindness, just as you are trying to as well. Love, Jesus. So I wrote that down there as a reminder to hush the flesh up. The flesh up. <laughs> because um, we can tend to get into our own head. And not follow the way of the Lord. Um, and most times, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, I follow God 100% of the time. I know I'm just so perfect, like a spotless lamb. Absolutely not. Mommy, so, right okay, best friend, give me a minute. I use these pages as if God is uh, talking directly to me. So, I hope that makes sense because um, it makes perfect sense to my brain. So, my soap study is scripture observation, application, and prayer. It is not my method. It is a small little method in how you can break apart a scripture that you're reading and you want to study more on. So I haven't done today's. I've done everything else but that because I need some a little bit of quiet. So, um, you know, like I divide out the pages seven days. This is this week. And, you know, I usually follow a scripture plan in my book. This one is Battling Fear. Next month is Battling Anxiety. 
or I read on my YouVersion app, or I read the scriptures that are in my devotion notes. So, um, I mean, not my devotion notes, my devotion. So, you know, scripture, write it out in any translation that you are following. Observation, what do I feel or what is this scripture trying to say? Maybe you need to have reading a different. So if you're writing the scripture down in CEV, maybe you want to write it out in the amplified version. The amplified version gives you a whole lot. You want a new house. Ooh, don't work like that, best friend. Um, give me a minute. I'm, I'm almost done filming, okay? So uh, she said, I want a new house. Lord have mercy. Let's be grateful for the house that we have, okay? Um, so I was trying to say, write it out in a different translation because the Amplified version is going to pick apart words. It's going to give you every single thing you need. So you can, if you're not sure, like, I don't know what this scripture is saying because when you're reading scripture, you need to think of the content in which it's there, the setting, the people, the audience, like, not what you think it is. You want to think, you want to go back into that setting. So scripture, observation, how can I apply what I just read to my life? And then a small little prayer. So I do that and then I come and do my prayers. Now I'm praying for my immediate family, right? I'm praying for myself at the top here. I'm praying for my husband. And then I'm praying for our kids. Now, you may think, well, what about if you have other people you want to pray for? Um, I pray in my, my mind for them, or I write them down in the back of my book, or I write them down in a, um, a post-it note, or, you know, you can, I'm a firm believer in praying for people right then and there. So if people are like, you know, I need um, you to pray for me. I will go, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you come into, you know, I mean, look, I stand in peti petition for this person, Lord, you know, strongholds must be broken, Father God, and we love you, we thank you for coming in to agreeance with it, like, I, I'm, I wouldn't say I have a gift of prayer, but I don't know, I just, I just use my heart, and I just go, so I just use this section here, um, and I just go ahead and pray for my family members. Now, was it always this that I used this section for? No, it was like affirmations. It was like, I forget, um, other stuff. So I'll show you. Let's see, like today, thank you for giving me the motivation, courage, and discipline to eat right, God. I'm so grateful. Bless my husband at outreach today and the people he comes in contact with. I love him so much and pray he is safe from evil and COVID, Jesus. Bless Isaac as he eats and starts his day. I pray his mind is open and receptive to the day with you, Lord. Give him pure joy. I pray over Sophia's mood today as she interacts with her Bubba. Bless her mind, Lord. So... Those are the things that I kind of do. And then now we come into the food log section. So the food log section um, this week was funny because, um, wait, did I do that? Yeah, I already, I was like, what is happening right now? I already drew it out. So it typically looks like this, okay? Don't pay attention to Saturday and Sunday right now. So, cause this week was a freaking hodgepodge of a mess because I pre-planned my meals and I shouldn't have done that. I always use my food log in real time. So it's always what I end up eating, not planning. So I've decided that if I'm going to plan meals, I need to do that in my common place book and not in my food log section. So I divide it at the top. Um, this is today. So I do my apple cider vinegar and I work out in the morning and then I do my greens. Um, and then I have water and my vitamins. I still need to take my vitamins for today. So because I plan this out, I put on a post-it note what I ate yesterday. I have this little thing that I made, um, 20 high fiber foods to make sure I'm getting my fiber sample ideas. But today I had one fourth cup of oats with blueberries, sliced almonds and peanut butter with sauteed kale and one slice of turkey bacon. If you missed it, I've introduced uh, turkey and chicken back into my um, my eating and I'm doing more of a low carb. I loved vegan but I loved it too much because I ate all of the good healthy carbs and my blood sugar and my body 
um, did not love it that much because I got, I gained weight. So I section it out like that. I'm not going to do all of the sections. I'll just do all of the seven days. I'll just do um, one. So it's just kind of like up at the top for my vitamins, a little motivational thing for myself. And then, oops, I did it wrong. And then there is my food log right here, but I put an extra line, which I shouldn't have. And we don't care, we will use the white out. I can't see what I'm doing because of the filming. <laughs> Let me turn it right. So, um, what is happening? Am I doing it wrong? Is there no more? I'm like, what are you doing? Um, there, you gotta try to get it back on track. There. So it looks a hot mess, but whatever. So I use that for the food log and down here I'll put fasting times, a little journaling or whatever. So I do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday and then Saturday and Sunday are split for a reason. And I always remember when setting up the week to do Saturday and Sunday like that because I have messed up in the past to where, and this is new. This is like maybe this month new or no, I'm lying, two months new. Because then what I do is I use right here for homeschooling, which I have no idea why. I'm gonna grab, hold on. Um, I'm gonna grab the homeschooling sheet. It looks like so, and I do not remember who I got it from, but what I do is just paste in the la for that last that, that last usage of paper for my seven days of food log because I went ahead and um, allowed for Saturday and Sunday to be on one page. I have one extra page that I can use to to paste in my homeschooling sheet, right? So it would look like so. Let me make sure. Yes, because there's my brain down. So it's Monday through Friday. I have a five-year-old and she is in, I'm doing pre-K. We've been homeschooling now for, since September, 2020. And we have a whole plethora of reasons to do that. I would say the main one right now is COVID. I do not want her in a public school, but she is on the spectrum. And going into mainstream school is not something that we want to do for her. She's got a lot of anxiety and um, there's just a whole lot of reasons. So what I do is I start to do my own things. Devotion, prayer, change calendar, breakfast, vitamins. We do workbooks, language arts, math, handwriting. Now this is all sounds like a lot, but it's literally like 30 minutes of structured learning together. And then a lot of it is play, arts, crafts outside, independent play. You know, um, a lot of people think, oh, the iPad, take them off the iPad. No, the iPad and YouTube kids and stuff has helped with her speech. It has helped with her um, just her understanding certain letters and numbers and sounds and things and, and creative play. So um, I use this here to help track homeschool. I started doing this up top as an overview, but I do track it here. So Friday we did homeschool and that is, um, I mean, I don't know if I wanna keep this overview like this but uh, yeah, so I'll do here and here. I get these little stickers from Daiso, the little monthly calendars. Um, I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna do month, Saturday and Sunday. So we've been doing year round. As long as I get three days a week, 
I'm fine. So um, I break it down to devotional reading computer. Computer, we do education.com, Homer. It's like, um, it, it's assessments that I took and then they really help her with her phonics and her letters and her math and her reading. We do handwriting workbooks. We do crafts and exercise and outside and mood. So I take this little thing and I move it to the next week and um, I kind of have it here like that. Each week may change, but for right now I have it like that. So that's homeschooling. My brain dump works hand in hand with my daily pages. I absolutely live by my brain dump because Sometimes, well, no, most times on my day, it's packed already because I like to do, um, I like to do memory keeping, journaling, I do stickerage, I do a lot of different things and I'll show you on my down two pages. And if you missed it, this is all in one week, okay? So I use my brain dump to heavily, heavily, heavily help me um, keep track of the tasks in the house, things I need to buy. I mean, whatever you feel a brain dump is for you. Um, I use it at night. Bless you. God bless you. So yeah, so I just kind of write these little headers with, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I was gonna write Saturday. <laughs> Help me, God. So I write these headers here, and I gotta make sure it's smooth because my fountain pen's not gonna be wonderful. Let's see. Um, that's okay. So anyhow, I write these headers. I will use my little doohickey here to blot the ink. And uh, I'll show you, but just let me write them. I usually don't do all of this, but I'm just gonna really go for it and show you how I would really set up this week. This is the last week in this book. And if you missed it, I do monthly books. So, these are 365 pages, right? So my brain dumps work hand in hand with my daily pages, okay? So here is today and here is the brain dump. Midweek, about Wednesday, Thursday, I go and I start to highlight certain things that I know, you know, hey, call attention to. Um, so this is today, workout, apple cider vinegar greens, Bible study, make breakfast, log food. Then I come over here, I need to do Sophia's laundry, pick up the vitamins, wash our sheets. I keep migrating that task and that's okay. These tasks can get migrated till I'm blue in the face. I don't care. I like the, the safety blanket of knowing my stuff is in there and it does the thinking for me. Um, but it only works if you write it down right away. So like right now, I'm just gonna put right here, you know, I'm filming. So I keep track of loosely the schedule, the to-dos, the afternoon and the evening and the dinners and the journaling and the tracking and the, so this fills up pretty fast as you can see, right? So I didn't wash the sheets. I didn't do Sophia's laundry and that's okay. I didn't call attention to the Amazon cart, but if it's in here, the Amazon cart is in here somewhere. So I thought, well, my anniversary dress is, and my 10 pound weights is, cause that's exactly what's in the Amazon cart. So um, then I kind of like journal throughout the time frame. Like then we went to the Amazon store for a new fire stick. Like you honestly need to get to cleaning cause that's what I said I was gonna do and I didn't. Um, so I always, as a part of next week, scan my dailies, my weeklies, my brain dump pages when I'm going over. So I'm just showing you how I set up. I'm not showing you how I completely go to town and um, like do a plan with me. This is just a setup. So here is next week, um, and this is this week here, but I use the inserts from Hourglass Planners 
These are high level things that we got going on with a color code. To do goals, cleaning, just stuff I wanna keep you know, at the forefront with my habits. Um, food ideas, shopping, and just notes. So as you can see, I've already, every week that I am in, so when I come over here to this week, my next week little tab will come over here to October. So I have in October this week, I haven't pasted it in, but that's another thing I will have to do this week because I always try to make sure that my daily page and my next week is always easily accessible to me in case I need to write something down. Um, yes, I have my monthly to uh, do the forward planning or whatever, but from my week to week, I live by my weeks and my days. So this is next week. So when I start to migrate stuff over here or write appointments and stuff, I will start to uh, color code certain things that I know that are coming up, which is for me, which I know for my kids, which I know for my husband. We all have a color code, so um, I heavily rely on that sometimes, but I sync stuff from my um, electronic calendar that my husband puts stuff on. So that is my week. It's already glued in on purpose. So here are my days. I'll just do one quick day and then I gotta get off here. So I just kind of do a schedule that I started doing starting at nine instead of like seven because my morning, my daughter doesn't wake up until like nine. So I wanna start my day when she wakes up. And then over here is dinner. What baby? Almost done, I'm almost done. So I put that down right here. Self-care goes down here. And then there's extra to-dos and then there's extra to-dos here. So trust me, I follow the bullet journal system. Sometimes I'll do bullet journals here. I'll do different things, but these are my daily pages. I have an appointment. Um, this is when fall starts. So I had already glued that in. I set up my days already. And then I'm at the end of a planner book. This all is journaling and health exercise log, health log. And um, this is just stuff for me for reference. Um, I may take some of it to the next month. I may make a video on how I do that. I'm not sure, but all the rest of that is journaling. And then in the back, I have a tracker. And then this always shows what book I am on to the next. So anyhow, I hope that um, was helpful. This is how I set up my uh, new week in my book. I do monthly books. This is an A5 Wonderland 222 cut down to a standard. Thanks for watching.